Todd Wortham and I want to welcome everyone back to live racing as tracks across the country start to reopen. With that being said, welcome to this edition of Race Face Driver Updates. We're going to start out west with Menlo Park, California, Jesse Love, or better known as the Hammer. Jesse was back behind the wheel of his number 44 Cox Racing 360 wing sprint car at Marysville Speedway on Saturday where he picked up the win in the heat race and followed that up with a top five finish in the A main. Up next for Jesse, he'll be back at Marysville this weekend in the sprint car unless Placerville gets the green light to race and then he's going to go there. Caden Honeycutt returned to his number 37 dirt modified at Monarch Motor Speedway on both Friday and Saturday night. On Friday night, a mechanical issue ended his night early, but the team worked on the car over the night and was able to return on Saturday. Was it worth it? I think so, as the 16-year-old Willow Park Texan parked it in Victory Lane and picked up a cool $1,000 in prize money. Up next for Caden, iRacing, round eight of the Rowdy Energy Super Select Series powered by Speed 51, where he is currently set six in points and has notched a win at Lucas Oil Raceway earlier in the season. This young man can drive anything that has four wheels, whether it's live or virtual, dirt or pavement. Grant Thompson was back at one of his favorite tracks, Five Flags Speedway in Pensacola, Florida, this past weekend in the Pro Truck Division, driving for Kurt Britt Motorsports in the number 38 Serendipity Chevrolet. All I can say is dominating, as he set fast time in qualifying, but wait, there was an invert, but he rolled a one and still started on the pole, and he led the entire 35 lap feature to pick up his first victory of the 2020 season. Up next for Grant, this weekend he'll pull double duty starting on Friday at Five Flags in the Pro Truck and then Montgomery Speedway on Saturday where he'll get behind the wheel of the fame number 112 Augie Grill Pro Late Model. Not many drivers get the chance to drive for their childhood heroes. So good luck Grant, I know you will do all of us proud. Let's now head back to the dirt where the Red Army of Justice and Colby Sokol saw two nights of action in the Lucas Oil Open Wheel 600 Series at Creek County Speedway. Colby competed in both the wing and non-wing 600 classes. On Friday in the non-wing, he started fourth and finished third in his heat, but was taken out in the B main that resulted in him starting 24th in the A and he finished seventh. In the wing car, he started third and finished fourth in his heat and had a 14th place finish in the A main. Now on Saturday night in the non-wing heat, he started P1 but got taken out and had a DNF. Colby started 16th in the B main and drove to the front and picked up the win. What an amazing ride that was. In the A main, he rolled off 15th and finished eighth. In the winged heat race, he started P6 and finished P5, and then in the B main, he started fifth and finished in sixth. Let's now check in on younger brother Justice, who was in his restricted 600 micro sprint. On Friday, Justice started third and finished third in his heat and brought home a ninth place finish in the A main. On Saturday, Justice started second and finished second in his heat and drove from the 11th starting position to fifth in the A main. Justice will make his eSports debut in the Nitro Lubricants Junior Late Model eSports Next Series this week at Irwindale Speedway. Let's now check in on our newest Race Face Next driver, 12-year-old Lakeland, Florida's Gavin Graham, who was at Auburndale Speedway in his number 00 Legend car. The event had 20-plus Legend cars show up and everyone was eager to get back to live racing. The layoff did not have much of an effect on Gavin as he was making some adjustments on running the new Hoosier tire but brought home a second place finish in the A main. I know that his Diamondback race team is eager to get their pro truck season underway 
But up next for Gavin, back to Auburndale Speedway in the INEX Legend Car Series this Saturday night. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. And remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Don't miss Race Face Spotlight on Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time this week featuring junior motorsports driver Connor Mozak. And as always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. Don't forget to follow us on social media. We'll be back with you next week with more from your favorite race face drivers. So go out there, have a great race weekend. I'm Rod Wortham. Thanks for watching.